since the last time we spoke, uh, I have installed the, the GoPro camera uh, using a Shure wall mount um, in this location here on the front. Uh, as you can see, uh, I've had to use some uh, Sugru mounting uh, glue mount, uh, glue on the, uh, on the helmet to get it to mount in that location. Um, because of the curvature of the helmet and the feature line that you see over here, um, it had to, 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 to uh, uh, be located in this spot here in order for me to have my camera where I wanted it and uh, within the, the front shadow area of the, uh, uh, of the helmet. It has uh, allowed me to position it in exactly the same way and um, it won't be suffering any kind of, uh, you know, um, bending action, trying to break it off of the helmet as, as if you had it on the side mount. Uh, here, with it in the front, the, the wind would be uh, going straight onto the, the, the camera like this and pushing, if anything, pushing it onto this into this connection here so instead of a ripping off uh, action it would have a, a kind of a direct uh, pressing on action onto the helmet um, as you can see the the location there is not too bad in terms of clearance uh, there is sufficient clearance to the front to allow you to to operate the uh, the chin vent and also bringing this down uh, you know there will be clearance there so that wouldn't be a problem. I also installed a little microphone, JK microphone. I'll put the graphic up in a second, but that microphone is, is located just in front of the right cheek pad on the uh, chin bar of the helmet. And uh, really nice little, little microphone. So far it sounds good, but I'll have to go and test ride it uh, to see exactly how it sounds. But uh, so far it looks good. The other upgrade that I made to this helmet was to install the 45 millimeter uh, speakers inside. You can't see it there, it's behind a little cover. But uh, to install the 45 millimeter JBL speakers as a replacement for the 40 millimeter uh, uh, non-JBL speakers that came with the second helmet kit. Uh, there was an improvement in sound quality. There was a slight improvement in volume, but nothing compared to the 40 millimeter JBL speakers that come with the Cardo Pack Top Bold in that kit. Uh, that is a completely different speaker. That speaker is a heavier speaker and it gives much better sound. Uh, this one just seems to be a larger version of the, uh, of the standard second helmet uh, kit speaker. So, um, I'm not going to return it, but I'm not ha happy with it for $90. I expected more. So that's to me, if I were to give it a star rating, it'd probably be three out of five stars. Uh, with those two upgrades done, this uh, mode of logging helmet, I think is complete. Uh, the only thing left to do is to road test this camera setup and uh, see how it looks. Um, I expect that it'll uh, deliver same, similar results that, that, you know, as, as when I'm using my Shoei uh, helmet and um, that has a little bit different mount. That mount, the Sugru is, uh, the, the base is stuck to the front here on the, on the uh, RF1200 via Sugru right in front here. So it's a direct connection. But this one here has that arm that I showed before. It's got that arm there, so. But it should be about the same result because the camera position is in the same place. I've uh, just installed my uh, GoPro in front and on the chin bar and uh, <laughs> and I've also installed a new microphone. Uh, if this sounds pretty good, or it sounds just as good as the other, uh, the other microphone, which is like, uh, I don't know, three times as much, the Rode Video, what, Rode Video Go or something like that, uh, in the showy helmet, versus this JK, uh, microphone, Chinese microphone, um, 
then I'll say that uh, you know this is probably the best it definitely is right away for me one of the best microphones that you can get simply because of two main reasons one is very small the head is very small and also more importantly it is short the cord is only three feet long so you don't have this big long length of cord to worry about uh, coiling up inside the helmet or or on the GoPro mount or whatever so it's got oh and there's a third point no I, I, I can't believe I forgot this because this third point is the whole reason why I bought this this microphone in the first place uh, it has a TRS plug instead of TRRS uh, which means that I don't have to use an adapter to step down from a TRRS plug to a TRS uh, so that's a big thing because I mean the power device uh, 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 microphone that I have requires that and also uh, I noticed that the power device microphone as a result only recorded on one channel so even though I like the, the sound of the power device microphone um, you know it was not suitable because it was only recording in one channel and I had to use the stupid adapter which added to the length of the already long power device microphone lead but this uh, microphone has got a short lead it's got a TRS uh, plug uh, three and a half millimeter plug and uh, you know it's got a small head and um, it's great hopefully the sound is good regarding the camera position I've always uh, uh, whenever I've installed a new uh, a camera on my helmet I always check it out in the garage uh, based on my hands being on the handlebars as they are right now and uh, I want to see about half of my uh, of my navigator here um, <clears throat> I don't want it pointing up too high because I mean who wants to see all the sky in the world right but not only that uh, when you're pointing up too high it overexposes or it underexposes the, the shot because it exposes for the uh, for the sky and as a result everything down here is kind of dark so uh, that's uh, another reason for actually coming out and testing the uh, the angle the angle of the uh, declination of the camera in front uh, the camera being mounted on the side to the front uh, is in a very good position in the sense that uh, there is no there shouldn't be any drag uh, there shouldn't be any drag on the uh, you know due to wind uh, like if you had it on the side plus I don't like the side vantage point anyway I like the viewpoint from the front where you can actually see straight ahead and symmetry left and right and that kind of thing so far it seems to be working quite well in terms of feel uh, we'll have to see how it looks when I get back well I think I'm gonna close this off for now uh, ooh, nice coast um, I've got enough footage here to uh, in different uh, conditions, lighting conditions to be able to make a judgment uh, as to uh, what I need to adjust so until I see you again in the next videos take care stay safe and keep the shiny side up